copying and pasting text from a website. Can it be dangerous? Um, can it allow malicious activity on your computer? Um, or even allow an attacker to get remote access to your computer? Well, the answer is yes if you're not paying attention. Um, what prompted this video was an article I've seen recently on Bleeping Computer. Now, I'll leave a link to that article in the description below so you can check that out yourself. But if we head over and take a quick look at this article. Don't copy paste commands from web pages, you can get hacked. Um, so the uh, meat of this is, um, for an example, let's say that you're searching how to update your Ubuntu and you've found this command, so you copy it. Um, so the command is sudo apt update. So you copy that command. Uh, now what this is suggesting is that when you paste the contents um, that you've copied onto your computer, the actual contents that you paste are different to those that you copied. And it can be used to um, craft um, malicious commands. For example, this one's showing this command here, which is an example of how to uh, how you could create a reverse shell to your computer to give an attacker remote access to your computer. This command could also be used to uh, delete files if you're not paying attention and you uh, paste the command quick enough, you just hit enter. Um, yeah, you could find yourself a problem. So I'm going to show you why this is a problem and exactly how easy it is to um, do this. And in order to do that, we're going to construct a web page. We'll copy some text and show how easy it is to change that over. So let's um, construct this web page. Sheridan Computers. IT. Communications. Support. So let's create a new document. Uh, I'll call it youtube.html uh, Let's edit this file So let's do this real quick Give it a title, um, body, so I'm going to do span id equals copy, uh, and we'll use the text that they were using on bleeping computers, so we'll do sudo apt update. Now, if we go ahead and save that, and then we open this page. So we've got sudo apt update, let me zoom in so you can see this. Now if I copy that, and then I paste it, um, visual code back up. So as you can see, we pasted sudo apt update. Now let's um, move on to the next part. So you can see this uh, text here, we've given an idea of copy. So we're gonna create an event listener, so when, um, the copy is fired, it changes the text. It's quite easy to do. Let's do script uh, var l equal document dot get element by the copy. So what we're doing here is grabbing the contents of this here, well this element, and now we can do uh, l dot add event listener and copy and we create a function so what we can do here is uh, clipboard data dot set data and text it to uh, text plain so that's a content type and now in here we can replace it with anything we want so in this bleeping computer article for example um, it's using this text there, so let's copy that. So what I was going to do is when you press copy, it's going to um, set the contents of the clipboard with this. Let's go ahead and test that. In fact, I missed. We got prevent default. So that. Now, if we reload this web page again. The web page looks exactly as it did. Now, if we copy this, 
and we go ahead and paste this into our editor now as you can see the uh, contents of this are it's changed to paste this command in which is malicious um we could also do for example uh um minus rf to delete some files um so now if we copy this let's refresh the page uh, and paste the command back into here um as you can see we've now got remove files command so yeah that's quite something you should be aware of close this down um how do you help mitigate this well um you can basically paste it into a text editor or something before you paste it into a command line so uh so as opposed to pasting it straight into your command line, paste it into a text editor or something first. Um, like I'm using VS Code, but you can use uh, Notepad or any other editor that you want. So um, I thought it was an interesting article. Um, I've not seen it um, brought to awareness before, so I figured it's something that I'd like to do a video on. Um, close this. So there you have it. Um, just keep in mind when you are browsing the internet and you're copy and pasting commands, they can be changed um, even on legitimate websites. So um, just be a, bit, a little bit careful and um, check what you're pasting before you paste anything into command lines. Um, if you do find this video um, useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification icon, you'll get notifications of any new videos as they are released. And if you'd like to hire us, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and click on that hire us button.